Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm sharing with you how to use tube watercolors in your Bible. It's a little bit different for me. And we're also going to be doing a little word study or a little study on this idea of dwelling. Now, this is a cute little birdhouse hanging in a tree. It is a form of a dwelling for birds, but we're going to go a little deeper into this idea of dwelling. So this is a new book to me, and it was a gift. It's a book called Grace Laced, and it goes through different seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, and it has a little welcome page where Ruth, the author, is kind of sharing a little bit of her story and connecting, and then it jumps right into the season of winter, which I thought was really appropriate since it's still January, and chapter one or lesson one is on this idea of dwell. And this book is awesome. It has some hand lettering, some brush lettering, and then some really inspiring artwork. And I believe she works mostly with watercolors. And I'm just really excited. I love using watercolors in my Bible. And so I'm just going to bring you guys along as I kind of go through one lesson in this book each week. Now on the bottom of the Bible study book over there, it says blank is not my shelter. And it says that three times. So what I'm doing is just adding that into my journaling Bible over there in the bottom corner before I begin. And I'm using a scripture verse that she mentions in this lesson from the beginning of Psalm 91. And I'm also just making a notation on this page that it's coming from the book Grace Laced, and we're resting in God's character for this season. And this particular lesson is having to do with that word dwell. Now, the first couple of verses in Psalm 91 say, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I absolutely love this scripture, and I know that a lot of us are very, very familiar in the first few verses of Psalm 91. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. But first, these are my Reeves tube watercolors. They are not the best brand. They're not the most expensive brand. They're not the cheapest brand. I actually found them in a Ziploc baggie at Goodwill at a thrift store. And so I just picked them up and I thought this will be fun to experiment with and to try them out. I use them all the time actually in my Bible journaling workshops that I teach because they are really handy to just put into a palette and you can refill as needed and they last forever. They can completely dry out and weeks later, months later, you can come back and just using a damp brush, you can sort of reactivate these globs of watercolor paint. So they do just come in a little tube like a toothpaste tube. And what I've done here is on a very cheap palette that I picked up at a craft store, I think it was Michael's, I've just added the colors that I have from that little Ziploc bag I got at the thrift store into this palette here. And they've been there for a couple days at this point and have had a chance to dry out a little bit, but they're still kind of soft. And I'm just using them the way I would use a normal watercolor. So picking colors, I'm mixing as you can see on the left hand side there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding some color to the page. Now really they work just like a watercolor palette would work and I'm just adding them to the page as I go. Anywhere it gets to be too dark, you saw me do some blotting with a clean paper towel earlier. If it's too light, you can always add more. And watercolors in general are going to dry lighter than when you first set them down on the page. So basically here, I've taken the author's little watercolor of a birdhouse and used it as inspiration and decided to go ahead and design my own little birdhouse. And the front is just sort of a pentagon shape. And then I just have given it some depth and, and made it look more like a three-dimensional birdhouse. And in my case, I want to put it on a tree that has lots of green leaves because I just love green. And when I think about dwelling in the presence of the Most High, I think about life and wonderfulness. Even though this book technically is in the season of winter, which perhaps the tree then wouldn't be as green, I'm just gonna go for it because I love green and I love the idea of new life and safety and love in God's presence. So as I'm painting here, I'm thinking about those response questions that I wrote at the bottom of the page. Blank is not my shelter. 
and I'm being challenged by this book to think of three different things that I can say are not my shelter. And what this is doing is really taking me back to the thought of the Lord, the Most High God, actually being my true shelter. And I think that's such a important thing for all of us to remember is where do we dwell? What is our dwelling place? Like what's that anchor? What is our home? What do we always run back to no matter what? What can we truly count on? And then what are the things in our lives that maybe we shouldn't be counting on as being our shelters? And maybe we need to release some of those things to the Lord. This is also a really fun book to use if you're still kind of grappling with what your word of the year might be. My word of the year was release. I will link to my release video in the upper right hand corner if you want to go check that out. So that was my word of the year for last year. I'm thinking about my word of the year for this year and I'm 99% sure I know what it is, but I don't know if I'm ready to share it yet. I'm still kind of praying through and grappling with it. So as you can see here, I've done some multiple layers to accomplish this look. I've really darkened up the background behind the birdhouse, and that kind of allows it to come forward. I did use a blow dryer there just to make sure everything on the page was dry before going in with my Uniball Signo gel pen in white and adding some more highlights there as well. I grabbed this gel pen and I'm just adding in some thoughts. I decided to claim that the city I live in is not my shelter, my family is not my shelter, and even my ministry is not my shelter. As you can see, I have this gorgeous palm tree on the other side of the page. Both of these were actually done in watercolors. This one was using tube watercolors. The other one was using a palette of watercolors. And the best thing about watercolor is that it does not bleed even on pages that are not prepped. I hope this has encouraged you. If you find a set of tube watercolors laying around your house or at a thrift store, just pick them up and have a great time. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. Join us on Facebook. Find me over on Etsy. We have a lot of fun activities and materials for you to share as you journey in the Word of God. God bless.